All right, guys, my name is Elliot, and this is Freelance Duck Hunting, and I am a member of a group called the Fly Waste Collective. If you have not heard of us, we are just a group. There's six of us. We are all waterfowl content creators on YouTube. And buddies, man, we got together last year, and we did a bunch of hunts, and I'll put the videos up for those. We did a, a collaborative. So much fun just to get with these guys and hang out and hunt. Man, you got to check the videos out. Good deal. So we came up with an idea of we're just going to review each other's videos. So during this video, you're going to see um, Titus from Mid Valley Mercenary. And my face is going to be in a little corner. And I'm just going to watch his video and give my reaction to it. And those guys are doing the same things over on their channel. Um, if you want to see more about the Flyways Collective, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And of course, the playlist that I put up where you can see last year's videos. We're doing another collab this year. Really excited for it. So that's all I got to say. I'm so excited to get into this video. Titus is, he's in California and awesome, awesome guy. So can't wait to see this video. Let's roll it. All right, here we go, Big T. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I'm here today with my brother, Thomas. So Travis is back, it's a whole new season, a whole new world. Back in California, enjoying my time in Nebraska, ready to hunt in home state, good old California. Sub to the channel if you haven't, this is the first time you're seeing this, and do me a favor for all you guys that are subscribed and all that stuff that continually watch videos, please hit the notification bell down below. I know a lot of people are not being notified, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I think it has something to do with hunting. They're out to get your guns, so hit the notification bell and subscribe to this channel. Thomas got permission at a field, it's early goose season in California. He got permission in a cornfield that has just been chopped the geese are going in. Now, Thomas came to the Flyways Collective as well. Um, it was Titus and Thomas. So really, really great guys. Really great guys. To a field that's been plowed that we have permission on both. But I'll show you when we get out there. We don't, I uh, can't shoot at the one field where they're dumping into. Titus runs because awesome Because it's cameras, less than 150 yards from the road. One more thing. We have a really uh, podcast, The NBM Show. Go check it out on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, any platform you want to listen to on, on your Android, Great whatever. Go check it out. Guys, check it's it usually out. me, Thomas, and Travis with a guest or just us it's talking, duck hunting. Oh, this is a big thing I wanted to tell you guys. I really wanted to bring the subs into the picture and get you guys on the videos too. Not just a shout out on Instagram or Facebook, but I want to get you guys wearing our gear. I want to see pictures of you guys wearing our hats. Hoodies, and I need a shirt, um, what I've been doing. Anything we got, send us some pictures in, and at the end of all our videos this 2019 2020 MBM season, uh, at the end of the video, everybody that sends Titus, pictures I'll in, take a discount. Wearing our gear with Give whatever me a it is, just could be just a hat or a finisher or shirt or a hoodie, whatever it is, guys, send it in to us. I'm gonna, I'm I just gonna got put mugs it in too on the Teespring. end of the video and give you guys just a big shout out. So I appreciate that. Man, I'll throw your Instagram or your Facebook. If you want to go follow you, the can. It's just a way to say thank you for wearing our stuff and supporting us and kind of trying to give back to you guys to give you a shout out in the video. We just got these in, the NBM finishers. You guys can go pick one of these up. I only got like a dozen or so left. Enough yakking, let's get into hunting. I've got a finisher. Yeah, I've never used it. We Not an NBM stuff. finisher. But. We got the HTR. Let me see if it see what it's The H HTR and quack packs. We're we'll use those for a layout. That's Jordan's That's company right there. I'm, We're gonna dig our holes right now. I need one of those. Try to get flesh with the ground. Oh, set me up, guys. Our limit out here is ten honkers per shooter. Ten. Oh 30, my god. That's gosh. a lot. Thirty birds is a lot. Yeah. But anyways, I gotta grab That's my shovel. That's a lot. We'll show you guys. That's a lot to eat. Up. We gotta be eating till Christmas. Christmas. Probably in about an hour and a half before they start flying. It is exactly five o'clock. This is an afternoon shoot because they don't they don't come in here till the afternoon. What they're doing is. They're flying about 50 yards out on the edge of this field and going directly to that power line, going over the power line and dumping in that field over there. We have permission in that field too, but it's only like, they're, they're landing only where it's like probably 40 yards off the road. You gotta be 150 yards away from the road. So we're down here probably 250 plus yards off the road. It's just nice having permission on what land like this. Hide? So we, this maybe? is the first time in California we've ever got permission on private land. It's going to be hard to hide but in that field. I got to get up here, guys, and got to start digging and show us. Oh, for those quack packs, if you guys want something like that to lay out, I'll show you more later. You can put in the code MVM and get 10% off on your order. I'll link it down below. All right, guys, sorry for the wind noise. We're not all the way done, but we're trenched out. They're digging in There's a little Thomas, bit. Travis and me, and I got to finish doing this. I'm going to put all these big huh. stocks. 
over top of me almost. Use a more than anything. Have seen that but buried under that is that eight tier blind. Huh. <clears throat> Sorry about the wind. They're digging the in. That's cool. Everything. I'll be slid down in there. But the nice thing is the sun's gonna be at her back. Now there's only been one other time that I've I've only dug one time like that ever, um, and I got the trick from Fumble Mitts where he's hunting a pond and there's no cover. And so when when we dug in, we just dug um, down to like knee deep, and then you sit with your legs in the hole and you're sitting on your butt and you make a tiny little blind around you like that. So that's the only time I've never dug in like laying laying down like that. That's gonna be that's cool. The geese are coming from over there this way. The wind, low the profile, wind's at back and the sun's at her back. I had to tell you guys this yet, but. It's gonna be passing shots basically, and they should be about 20 yards high. They basically come over this in the deck, and we have to do it that way because that's too close to the road over there. So we gotta Nothing do it. Nothing wrong like with 20 yards past you. Know, geese, there's a holding sure. pond over there coming out from way over there somewhere, going to the holding pond, getting a drink, and then beeline it right here and eating that field, and then going back to the holding pond. So I was lucky enough to uh, get permission from this guy. Uh, I worked this area, and this is a local dairy. Uh, really nice guy. I talked to him. He's like, yeah, go ahead. I think we got them patterned pretty well. And this, we're right on the line that they were flying. Uh, 16 minute video. Last That's night. a good length for a and video. I saw these about 16 last minutes, I think. And they're in the, in, in the exact same spot. About that. So 14 to 20. I'm almost 100% positive like... these geese are doing the same thing every night. And there's a lot of geese here. So uh, I don't want to, what do you call it? When you when you think you won already and you haven't started, but. Chickens for a half. Yeah, I can't. For sure. I think we're gonna do have an awesome hunt tonight. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the waiting game. And we probably have about 55 minutes before they start flying. It was like 6.30 on the dot yesterday. I am shooting. This is an unusual hunt. The heavy metals, the three inch I've never been on a hunt like this for before. For big geese or duck. I won't even mind. I might buy some three inch six for ducks. I am serious. After that till hunt, seeing what that pattern on that six does is incredible. I am shooting an improved cylinder, kicks mono, or kicks, and Travis is shooting improved cylinder, and so is Thomas. And hmm. both yours is your factory, right? Yeah. I'm really, okay. really Travis surprised that he is shooting. I got a text from Golden Boy. I am really, really surprised that I'm really surprised that um, he's using an improved cylinder. I know out there in California, talking to Titus, that. A lot of times they have problems getting birds really, really close. I know that's more duck hunting, but for geese, I'm really surprised he's shooting in improved. Not not many people shoot improved. I shot improved um, during teal season a few years, but typically modified. I'm surprised by that. Uh, Benelli, cool. um, I'd rather use improved. Benelli Benchy and Thompson has so, his but. A300. Yeah. Beretta A300. Yeah, I'm with it. Oh yeah, he just bought he just bought a. And A5, the Wicked Wings. I don't want to keep yakking in this camera, guys, because I don't want to bore you. I know you came to this video to watch some killing. I was just telling Thomas, just talking to them. I just want to get that moment out of the way, that first volley of birds, because it's like, it's hard to explain to put into words to anybody, but it's like time stands still. You're breathing, you can, all your senses are like super magnified. You can like almost hear yourself breathing. You can hear your heartbeat like, boom, boom. It's almost like everything starts like getting in slow motion. If you guys know that feeling, comment down below. I know you guys do. It's mm -hmm. it's hard to put it into words. It's almost like everything goes black. Nothing else in the world matters. You just can't even put it into words, you know. Part of that passion for duck hunting like we were talking yeah. about on that podcast, you just can't put it into words. That's an interesting moment. Trouse wears glasses and can't see worth a flip, but he can see birds 10 miles away. Okay, Trouse. This is what we deal with all the time with him. <laughs> you totally took a serene moment, like, where the sun's being... Well, look at that. <laughs> that dig that they did really, really worked. Look at that. That is awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I love this about his videos um, when he just has goofing around with people. I, I like putting that in my videos too, just kind of goofing around and, and the camaraderie part of the hunt. 
Here they come, boys. They're coming. Where are they? Where are they? I don't see them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Yeah, everyone knows this feeling, that approach feeling. <laughs> it's a good feeling where you're just praying that they're not going to deviate off the path. Looks like he slowed that down just a little bit. Oh, there was <laughs> whiffing on that one. <laughs> Got him. Folded him up. Man, I love shot cams. I off to the left on that one. Oh, I want to see that again. I want to see that again. I love shot cams. Let's see that whole sequence again. Boom. One for three. That's a good shot right there. Just off the left on that one. That's a good sequence. There's nothing wrong with this pass shooting. These are close. Low. Low birds. Typically, we don't really like pass shooting, but if you get low geese like that. <laughs> That was nice. That hide worked perfect. I've not seen this video. Lots of birds on the left. I like this angle to feel like you're laying right there with them. It's a good angle. It really helps you feel what it felt like to them. It's a big part of YouTube videos. Translating your emotions and feelings. Titus does an awesome job of that. Got him. Ooh, I think tight I think whoever that gun was, I think doubled up on that. Like they doubled up on it. Ten birds each. My gosh, that's a lot of birds. Here we go. I would like to have seen the shot cam on that one. I like this cam angle. Got him. Doubled again. Woo! Tripled. I, I think. Three. Hold on. Did he triple on that? Titus, you stud. Did he triple on that? He's not playing. I like this video. I think he tripled on that. The second one, I wasn't sure. If you watch the second one, I wasn't quite sure if it ended up going down or not. It was still the same thing. One. Or that first one. Uh, there's that first one off to the right. I think he went down eventually. Maybe only a double. I thought he killed that first one, but... Well, maybe this is the sequence where he triples. I think I rounded it too far. One. Woo! I got yeah. three. Oh, yeah, that's a sequence. Okay. Oh, these are low. Man, tearing them up. That gun is on fire. You can tell it's a, sh a close shot because that lead is barely off the nose. Look at that. Finish him. Oh. Man, that's a fantastic shot cam right there. I want to see that shot cam. Sorry I'm rewinding so much, guys. This is what I do when I watch videos. I love the shot cam. Great camera transition there too. Now look, see that lead? That's about a 20 to 30 yard bird. 
That lead, that's about a 20 yard bird for sure. When you put the lead on a goose right off the nose, that's a, that's a good like shot. <laughs> Sweet yeah. hunt. Man. Unusual hunt. You're getting, you have no decoys out, and you're killing birds at 15 to 30 just over and over like that, right off the deck. Because geese don't normally fly low like that here. Boom. Yeah, and that lead is so close. Oh, nice shot. Taylor from hunting with Titus and Thomas at the collab. They're shooters, man. They can they can hit. Oh. Why have I not seen this video? That was nuts. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. That was awesome. I don't think we shot horrible. I just don't think we shot like really good. Are you kidding me? You're shooting doubles and triples every time you pull up your gun. A little bit. What do you mean? But guys, we'll give you the, the rest of the down low. We <laughs> all switched from our improved ceilings back to our modified. And do you think that made a difference? Yeah, I think that improved cylinder was hold on, spreading hold on. out a little bit. Titus. Every time you pull up the gun, you're dropping two and three birds at a time. If that's not shooting good, you are in a different ballpark as <laughs> a shooter than I am. Come on, man. Too much. I still whacked them. I think if you were making an accurate enough shot, I think it'd be fine. But because the ones I dropped, the first two I dropped with that improved cylinder, smashed their heads back. But you guys probably won't see that because I just had the shot camera. I don't know if I was getting it on in time. We were trying to hold still, but. My hat went bye bye. Oh. I don't know. It's running after these geese. Yeah. <laughs> but there really wasn't no crib, like one or two cribbles. Yeah. And we got one more down. He flew deader in the door. He flew and then just dropped stone dead. Had the Benelli click happen. Benelli click. It's time for you to burn. Kind of dead on that. Brown 85. Thomas. That was awesome. That was fast. They came, a couple groups came oh, too big. Back in we were, we were able to put the hurts on them tonight, so awesome. I'm gonna go oh, run down here shot. and pick that bird up, guys. Let's see how many they shot. <laughs> That's a lot of honkers, dude. Yeah. Look at this. How many we say? 19. Look at their stuff. 19. Singles. 19 we got. And I gotta go. No, was that including the two ones out of this pile? That was including that one, not. Oh, so we got 20? probably wrong. Alright, well, we'll count again. Are you. Kidding me, oh. what just happened? <laughs> hey, it's my least my band boys. <laughs> <laughs> One of those guys. Nice. You did? No, you did it. You did, you brought one. I just love I, I checked him before camera. I knew. It's just so cool. It's just so cool. <laughs> Get him! Get him! <laughs> Did you really, Travis? <laughs> that was a mess. <laughs> that was the best part of the hunt right there. You ain't coming back on Monday. <laughs> oh, dude, that was wrong. What, he slipped the band That was a thing? good idea, Travis. Hey, hey, you know what's funny about that? Is I had already looked at him, so I was like, how, how did I miss that? <laughs> that was good, Travis. And you guys had talked about earlier, we didn't get a band so I thought you guys would try to play that joke on me. <laughs> You know you guys said that when we were coming over here? You suckers really slipping you out on there. That? You're like, we're going to get a band today. No, I did not. I said they're going to band them where they're coming from. <laughs> and they're, you're like, yeah, they do. You're the one trying to convince us. <laughs> Sorry, dog. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. Yeah. He's still honking in the background. It's a good day. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. There's wind noise. I know. I'm well sorry done. to just be too loud. Thank you to my brother for getting permission. That is our first yeah. California permission. It is a miracle. It is. <laughs> we never, that, that's the first time it's ever happened. Yeah. How many times doors have you, no, that's the second. Remember, I got permission where the, the specs were. But it's oh, very yeah. rare. Yeah. And it's 20 funny. years, I mean, yeah, that's just like, does not happen. So. Well, I almost got that chopped corn filled. Got guessing. lucky with the timing; they hadn't started disking yet, so yeah, yeah, or, or replanted something. So we still got some corn that's standing too that they haven't cut yet. Mm -hmm. Another part, so yeah, but it worked out perfect. That's That's the first time in California we've ever been on a honker hunt like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys get that, but it's like 
I don't know, we just haven't had the opportunity, so it's a pretty cool opportunity. So don't forget to put your pictures, send us your pictures to midvalleymercenaries at gmail.com. Um, email them like that or message them to me on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll throw them up right up as the video ends right here, and I'll show something today. And uh, I think that's it. We need yeah. to get home. Congratulations to Thomas on his band. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. He said, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill you. you. <laughs> the season's <laughs> young and the fun is just beginning. I'm, I'm never, I'm, we're getting back to that. I'm gonna kill got you. Both of us. That was dirty, dude. That was dirty. Was pretty awful. Awesome. Don't be child. Don't be that guy. Don't be child. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. Dude, I was all zoomed in on you and focused on that band with you smiling in the background. I was like, this is the perfect thumbnail. Band is bird. So, anyways, I don't, I don't know what else to add. I looked at it, I'm like, man, that thing's shiny, really yeah. shiny. <laughs> we got a lot of geese to clean, so we need to get home on Saturday night. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. Look forward to the cooking videos. We're going to do a ton of cooking videos from that book that Hank Shaw wrote, Duck Duck Goose. So we got some good cooking videos coming up and it's not going to be my recipes, it's going to be straight from Hank and others. it's going to be legit. So we got a lot of meat to prepare. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. All right, so I'm going to stop right there. Bravo, Titus and Thomas. That was a fantastic video. I love that. I can't believe I haven't seen it yet. Really, really enjoyable. Keep up the good work. So um, I'm going to put a playlist up here to Flyways Collective Videos um, where we collabed. And guys, make sure that you're hopping around from channel to channel all the way to Flyways Collective. Guys, these review videos are coming out from all of us. We're all doing it. So these are so much fun. Subscribe and make sure and go to the Facebook page, Instagram page for Flyways Collective. Thank you guys so much. Until the next video, I will see you guys later.